Whether you need a sheet cake for a birthday, an ultra decadent chocolate concoction, or even some carrot cake, here's a handy guide for grocery store cake shopping. Safeway's Bakery offers a wonderful assortment of cakes, from traditional birthday-style sheet cakes with white frosting and sprinkles to decadent triple chocolate cakes topped with fruit. You can also choose from a decent variety of single-slice options that are small enough to hide in your lunch bag. Most importantly, Safeway's cakes are consistently beautiful, moist, and reasonably priced. They don't overdo it with the frosting, and they also offer plenty of customization. Perhaps no one is more qualified to review a cake than a bride. On Wedding Wire, the Bellevue Washington Safeway is recommended by 94% of reviewers, with an average overall rating of 4.7 out of 5. As one of them declared, our guests could not believe it came from Safeway. If you've ever shopped for a kid's birthday cake, you know it can be a frustrating experience. That's why we looked for stores with long lists of licensed character themes. Super Target fits the bill so that you can match the cake to the right party theme. And the price is right as well, which means you can invite everyone in your kid's class and still have enough cake for everyone. Kids are generally not as concerned about whether or not a cake is a little dry or overly frosted. In fact, extra frosting is often a positive for the youngsters. Either way, Super Target cakes are also widely praised for their flavor. The chain's decorators also evidently enjoy some creative freedom. That's evidenced by the Target Cakes Instagram, which features a wide range of fun designs from the Very Hungry Caterpillar to Mario Kart to Peppa Pig. If you're having an office party and you need something to feed all of your coworkers, then you'll probably want a delicious cake that's big enough for everyone to enjoy. Now, Milton, don't be greedy. Let's pass it along and make sure everyone gets a piece. Hey, but last time I didn't receive a piece. As you might expect from a big box store where you can pick up giant packs of toilet paper, Costco is also reliable for giant desserts. Their sheet cakes are inexpensive and delicious, which are two qualities that are possible to achieve in the same cake despite what your local overpriced bakery might say. And social media users have been raving about Costco's sheet cakes, as one person put it on the Costco subreddit, and for $20, a heck of a deal for a custom half-sheet cake that everyone loved. Another divulged, used Costco cakes as my wedding cake and got so many compliments on how good the cake was. Little did they know how cheap it was. What makes a good ice cream cake can be subjective, as it depends on if you want more ice cream, more cake, or an even split. But we don't think you can go wrong with Walmart's market-side chocolate and vanilla ice cream cake. It's more cake than ice cream, with layers of real chocolate cake separated by a layer of vanilla ice cream. Reviewers praise it for its whipped cream-style frosting that isn't overly sweet, and it's also an inexpensive option if you don't need a giant cake. As one reviewer raved on Walmart's website, way better than the all-ice cream things that they call cakes and there is no cake in them at all. While another declared, delicious, it's not oversweet and everyone loved it and wanted more. It's also worth noting that Walmart's ice cream cakes are made by the same company that makes ice cream cakes for the likes of Baskin Robbins and Cold Stone Creamery, so you can rest assured you're not sacrificing quality. If you're going to spend half of your allotted daily calories on a piece of chocolate cake, you want it to be the best chocolate cake you've ever eaten. It's hard to get chocolate cake wrong, but it can be done. So play it safe and go directly to Sam's Club to pick up a chocolate tuxedo bar cake, because more than 700 five-star reviews can't be wrong. Topped with fancy chocolatey loops, gold scroll, and chocolate curls, this cake isn't just pretty, it's also decadent. The layers of chocolate cake are separated by layers of chocolate mousse, a sweet cream cheese filling, chocolate ganache, and whipped chocolate icing. A complete cake serves 8 to 10 people, or just yourself if you hide it in your closet. This delicious dessert has an average 4.8 star rating on Sam's Club's website. As one reviewer put it, it was like something from a nice restaurant. If those aren't enough accolades for you, maybe you just don't like chocolate. CHOCOLATE! There's no such thing as a completely healthy cake. Real cake is full of sweetener, fat, and calories, and if it's not, then it isn't really cake. Nevertheless, some cakes are healthier than others. Many grocery store offerings are sweetened with high-fructose corn syrup and fats, but it is possible to find cakes that don't contain those problematic ingredients. So if you're concerned about avoiding those unnatural ingredients, head to Whole Foods. Whole Foods uses real buttercream and has a store-wide policy against artificial sweeteners of any kind. They also sell vegan and gluten-free cakes, so they're a great option if you have dietary restrictions. A reviewer on TripAdvisor shared an experience at the McCungie, Pennsylvania location by raving, ordered layer cake here for a birthday party, bought it here because they use non-GMO flour. People loved it, beautifully decorated. 
If you're a fan of frosting, Walmart is not the place to go if you love to scrape it off and savor it for as long as it'll last. Frosting is obviously supposed to be sweet, but there's such a thing as too sweet. And that's the problem with Walmart's cakes. The chain does have some affordable cakes, but that doesn't justify the horrible frosting and sugar shock. As one reviewer on Walmart's website put it, do we even measure the amount of sugar we use to make the cake or just pour out sugar? The cake is way too sweet. While another lamented, the frosting was so sweet and thick, we had to take the top and back frosting off each slice to be edible. I'm a sugar head and eat too much sugar for reference, but this was too much. Hopefully, that's enough to convince you to give the Walmart bakery a pass the next time you're in need of a birthday cake. After you scrape off some overly sweet frosting, the cake itself should at least taste good. In fact, there's an argument worth making that excellent cake doesn't even need frosting. However, it is evidently possible to make a cake that tastes gross and not just because it's too dry. Some Walmart shoppers have complained that their double-layer vanilla cake with vanilla icing tastes so off-putting that they actually threw most of it in the garbage. Reviewers have given this cake an average of 2.4 out of 5 stars on Walmart's website, with a common complaint being that it tastes like baking soda. As one person put it, cake was fresh but had a strong baking soda taste. Threw it away. Other shoppers complained about more basic problems like a dry texture and greasiness. A number of reviewers also complained that their cakes had been bagged upside down, which ruined the frosting and the aesthetic appeal. This sucks more than anything that I've ever sucked before. Making a cake is obviously a big responsibility for a bakery. Some bakery workers take that responsibility seriously, while others just show up to work every day. We can't fairly say that all lucky bakeries sell disappointing cakes. While the ingredients may be the same from store to store, the bakers and cake decorators are not. Still, we're recognizing this chain for the sloppiest cake because it seems to have the most complaints about careless designs. So if you want to maximize your chances of procuring a beautiful cake, you should probably play it safe and choose a different bakery. Multiple Yelp reviewers have complained about Lucky's cakes falling apart and being poorly decorated. One customer from Ukiah, California said that her local Lucky made her cake with an off-center top layer. Another customer from the same city bought a cake for her 10-year-old's birthday and then declared it looked like a cake for an elderly woman. The Salinas, California location also got poor marks from a Yelp reviewer who said, We asked if they could write on it in the bakery department and got the worst cake writing I've ever received. If you are unable to do quality work, you should say so. This cake was horrible and it has the writing of a child. When it comes to treating yourself to something a little unhealthy, chocolate cake had better be good. With that in mind, stay away from Trader Joe's Chocolate Bundt Cake. This pre-frozen dessert at least looks delicious on the package, with its delightfully inviting shape and playful buttercream drizzle. Alas, it has a rather unimpressive 3 out of 5 star rating on Trader Joe's website. On the plus side, it's not made with high fructose corn syrup like so many other store-bought cakes, as the first ingredient is instead cane sugar. But what it lacks in terrible ingredients, it makes up for in terrible texture and taste. One reviewer noted that this cake was attractive but dry and lacking flavor, while also noting, There wasn't a lot of icing, so you can't make it look like the photo on the box. I won't buy it again. Another reviewer went so far as to say that this was the worst cake she's ever had, while adding, After the first bite, I went digging in the trash for the box to see if it was gluten-free or expired. I will never buy this again, nor do I recommend anyone to try it. Bad idea. Other reviews complained about a bitter medicinal flavor and a crumbly texture. If you have celiac disease, you can get seriously sick from eating anything that contains gluten. This is why companies that sell gluten-free products need to ensure that they're actually gluten-free. This isn't to say that Trader Joe's gluten-free cakes aren't actually gluten-free, but there are multiple reviewers who claim that these cakes have made them ill. As one customer said about the chain's mini gluten-free cupcakes, these are delicious but made me extremely sick both days I tried them. Painful upset stomach and urgent bowels almost as soon as I got them down. And the chain's gluten-free cinnamon coffee cake muffins fared even worse. As one reviewer put it, I'm celiac and definitely got glutened from them. They must have been cross-contaminated or something. The nice flavor and texture aren't worth the pain. That sentiment was echoed in roughly a dozen other reviews by people with celiac disease or gluten intolerance who almost universally said that these cake muffins were delicious but made them painfully ill. Carrot cake can be tricky to get exactly right. Not everyone loves it. In fact, some people completely hate it. So when you walk into a Sam's Club, you probably already know whether or not you like carrot cake. 
And if you don't, you just won't buy it. So the disappointed reviews for Sam's Club's Carrot Cake Bar are likely not coming from customers who are trying this variety for the first time. This treat sounds like a typical carrot cake with walnuts and cream cheese frosting, but it doesn't look all that inviting. In fact, it looks rather warped and even a bit like plastic. And it sounds like the flavor isn't great either. Some customers complained about basic stuff like dry texture, but the real killer is the frosting. Carrot cake is supposed to be made with cream cheese frosting. A few reviewers claimed that it's not cream cheese as advertised, but instead a whipped topping that lacks flavor and that rich texture typical of cream cheese. Then there's the mold, with multiple reviewers claiming that it forms on the cake after just a few days. And it's worth noting that mold can live invisibly in food, so it could very well be in your cake for days before you actually see it. No matter what you're told, we have to clean the mold.